a key conversation that we are having with the management of Scient Semiconductors now, and that's a 100% subsidiary of the IT company Scient. Uh, it's on the back of the new partnership that they have stitched in with Navitas. And this is to accelerate, uh, uh, you know, global GAN adoption amongst other key products. So to talk more about this, let me welcome in uh, Suman Narayanan. He's the chief executive officer of Science Semiconductor, uh, as well as, uh, you know, Chris Alexander, who's also joining us. He's from the Navitas. Uh, he's the president and the CEO of Navitas. Gentlemen, thanks so much for joining in today. Uh, Suman, to start us off, uh, could you talk us through what is this particular partnership all about? and what science semiconductors uh, benefits from, from bringing this product to India. Well, thank you, Puneet, uh, for having us today. It's a pleasure to be here. At Science Semiconductors, our mission is really to build tomorrow's custom silicon together with a really a strong focus on power efficiency and real world impact. You know, our partnership with Navitas is a strategic step towards building a complete end-to-end -end GAN ecosystem in India where we combine Navitas's GAN technology with science strength in ASICs, ASSPs, and power IC design. So the vision it really is to, like I said, to establish a self-sustaining GAN system. Through this partnership, Navitas and Science Semiconductors intend to co-develop GAN products, digital and mixed signal ICs, and GAN-based system modules designed and enabled in India, targeting the India market specifically. The partnership is also to make a robust supply chain and manufacturing ecosystem to support the Indian government's Make an in Indian initiative. Uh, Chris, let me also come to you very quickly. How do these GAN products actually help uh, in India and the acceleration as well? What could be the, that benefit be for Navitas as well? Uh, so, Puneet, uh, thanks as well on my side to, to having me here today with uh, uh, my partner, Suman. Uh, from science. So, uh, as you might know, uh, uh, Navitas has been uh, one of the pioneers in uh, GAN uh, business uh, for the last 10 years. And we really kind of drove the acceleration of this technology uh, to drive higher power efficiency. Um, what we are doing here with science is to simply accelerate uh, the adoption in India. We believe uh, India will be a, a very key market for the future in terms of how we drive. Uh, uh, more efficiency in high power market and combining uh, capabilities and doing this partnership with science kind of benefit both of us. Uh, from our side, combining our GAN with uh, the science capability on uh, on analog mix signal will will uh, allow us to provide full solution uh, to the customers. And as we uh, you know provide our GAN technology to science, we'll be able to offer our customers a local solution uh, and support, as Suman said, the Making India initiative from the government. So we believe you know, combining those two companies together will really accelerate the market uh, in India, which is our goal. Uh, Suman, what could be the go-to-market strategy and any timeline that you can provide us with? You know, the collaboration starts immediately through design and engineering engagement. You know, if you looked at India specific ICs and custom ASSPs, we're working through uh, with Chris and the team on the customer development cycles. We expect early solutions, especially on the GAN modules in 12 to 18 months timeframe, uh, followed by a, probably a broader ecosystem maturity as well. Uh, Suman, you're also targeting India's high voltage as well as the high power market uh, segments that, you, as you mentioned, such as uh, AI data centers, electric mobility. It is one of the key buzzwords that we are hearing right now. Uh, any kind of uh, insight that you can offer us how you're going to do that? Yeah, I mean, if you look at where India is scaling on, on EVs, on renewable energy, industrial automation and data centers, you know, these are all very power intensive sectors, you know, where efficiency, density and reliability matter, right? GAN actually enables higher efficiency, it enables faster switching and smaller systems. It just makes it really ideal for India's growth phase. If you look at where we are with the power consumption in India, you know, I think it's expected that over the next couple of years, it's going to consume, the data centers will consume like 75 terawatt hours per year. It's almost like 2 to 3% of the, of the nation's electricity. So GAN adoption is super important for you to save power. Um, and it's still early, you know, in India, but it has an, India has a unique opportunity to leapfrog and lead this, uh, this drive. Chris, uh, do you also want to add something on this of what that benefit could be? 
Yeah, no, Punit is very simple. Uh, you know, we uh, what we see as a GAN leader is the ability for silicon and traditional silicon to be able to provide at a higher level of uh, of density and efficiency has tapped out. Okay, and GAN becomes now mainstream. Uh, and will be mainstream in all those power angry applications that Suman mentioned. Of course, data centers, as you said, is the buzzword, but if you look at uh, uh, electric mobility, which is a very big market in India, will continue to grow, as well as any form of uh, energy grid uh, infrastructure and industrial uh, will benefit from that. So really kind of, uh, uh, we believe with this, uh, you know, effort will we'll be able to provide a lot more uh, efficiency uh, in the power uh, system in India. But uh, Suman, in terms of, uh, you know, and let's put some numbers here, how big could this be in the overall scheme for science semiconductors in terms of revenue? Yeah, I don't want to speculate, but GAN has a huge opportunity in India. I mean, I would, I would uh, you know, significantly see double digits uh, in GAN in the next couple of years in terms of both growth and in terms of revenue in, in millions of dollars. So I, I feel like uh, with the Navitas GAN, we have a unique opportunity to capitalize on, on this market. Uh, Chris, there's also this very interesting line that you mentioned in the press release that this will further accelerate the time to market for developers as well as for OEMs across the region. When you mentioned that, uh, how could they benefit in, in these product applications? Yeah, so, so this is a very good question, Punit. Uh, thank you. Uh, actually, GAN is not easy to drive and it's not easy to implement. It's still early uh, for uh, power customers to, to understand how to use uh, uh, that new technology. So by, by working with Scient, what we provide is, is full solution. So this, this partnership will have multiple aspects. Uh, one is combining the uh, analog mixed signal uh, capability of, of science with our GAN technology, providing solution at the, at the system level, uh, which will help customers implement uh, GAN, uh, as well as uh, providing a stronger local support. I mean, science has a pretty strong team in India, and I think we'll be able to, uh, to provide customers even more uh, local support. So really kind of uh, make it easy for the customers to, to use the technology and, uh, as we said from the beginning, to accelerate it and accelerate this adoption. Uh, finally, Soman, you know, the, what do you see as the current scenario in India for these products and how does this particular gap uh, get filled? Yeah, I think if you look at what we are doing, right, we are acting as India's anchor. We're enabling access, doing the qualification, engineering collaboration, and the ecosystem collaboration, right? So over time, this also will start to support both the packaging and manufacturing pathways in India for, uh, for Navitas. So we're investing today, you know, working with closely with, uh, with Navitas on actually starting on the modules and, and kind of using the modules as a way to quickly start. As Chris mentioned, you know, you have to start with something that's easy to design in and, and people are still using GAN. They are getting used to using GAN. So local engineering support is going to be important. Modules are going to be important. And then making sure we provide the right support to the customers for the end application is going to be important to kind of start uh, start this launch. Well, uh, Suman, as well as Chris, thanks so much for joining in, giving us that perspective on what it could mean for science semiconductors, as well as in terms of revenue, what that uh, shape could be for the company.